Welcome to West Country Wanderings. Today we're in the unspoilt Cotswold village of Miserdon. I've just come back from a trip from Devon and I thought you would show you a traditional Cotswold village which forms part of a central estate. So all the properties are rented and part of the community. Like a lot of Cotswold villages, indeed villages that we explore throughout the West Country here in West Country Wanderings, you won't find any second homes here or indeed any properties for sale at all. In fact, a lot of people that rent these cottages here, part of the estate, work locally on farms and indeed in the gardens. There is a lot of horticulture that goes on here and also forestry in Miserdon Park. So it gives it a really, really strong sense of community. There's also a pub here, and there's also a village shop complete with a post office. Miserdent is home to just over 400 people in the last census, or the last but one, not the one from this year, and uh, it lies about eight to nine miles south of the uh, Regency town of Cheltenham, which you'll be familiar with um, on a journey on the Cotswold Way, and about an equal number of miles north of the town of Stroud, and just above the Golden Valley and the River Froome, and it's edged by Miserdent Park, and which also contains a lake and a castle. Till the Middle Ages, Miserdon was known by the name of Green Hampstead, and indeed that's the name it went by when it was mentioned in the Doomsday Book. However, it later changed its name to Muzarad, which comes from the family Mazard, who were the f family that owned the manor house and the estate around the time of the 12th century. That family's no longer long, and now it has a wonderful sense of community. It's still run on estate lines, but it's more of a family shared experience. And as I said, a lot of the people that live here work locally and uh, live in the cottages, um, which is, pays into the community. Has a real got, uh, sense of community, fantastic facilities, um, a wonderful place to visit. A uh, very, very high standard of upkeep of the buildings. In fact, you'll notice um, when I'm doing the filming around that the cottages will have a standard colour to them. They have a slightly cream finish to their doors and the window frames. So they're all painted the same colour, so you know they're all part of the same estate, but uh, maintained to a very, very high standard. We're just entering Miserdon Park. It's threatening rain at the moment, so I don't know how far... I'm going to be filming um, but we'll just go down and have a look at this uh, fantastic park and as I say some of the um, villagers work on forestry and um, that's one of the main sources of income for the community that live here at Miserdon. of the Ellis Peters books, Brother Cadfael, 
kind of a monastic detective story. Um, very popular, I think in the, was it the 80s, late 80s, 90s on, I think ITV uh, filmed them. Um, they, the actual books themselves were set in and around Miserden, and I know that they used some of the plans. I haven't actually read the books them, themselves, but uh, I can't, it went under another name, it wasn't called Miserden, but it's uh, certainly um, the author had intentions to, to have set it geographically in this area, and I'll drop in the title as to, to what the village was called in the books and one of the book's titles. There are miles of uh, public footpaths which crisscross Visiton Park, so if you ever and again in the Cotswold area, highly recommend a visit here and it's fantastic uh, walking country because it's uh, undulating, it's not too steep, there are some steepish sections, but uh, it's never more than that and uh, beautiful undulating landscape and uh, it's uh, pretty much quiet as well, so uh, wonderful place uh, for, for walking. So I uh, can highly recommend a visit here both to the village, you can have a meal at the Carpenter's Arms at uh, the pub. Uh, you can have explored the gardens, although where we're not actually doing that today, perhaps that'll become a, a separate vlog coming back to have a look at the gardens here because there's quite a bit to explore. Make the video a bit too long. If I do that one, I'll probably do that one as a separate um, photo uh, one you know I stick uh, all the photos together with music that tends to work better for gardens and uh, yeah that's open and uh, they're award-winning gardens there and uh, yeah fantastic uh, place here in the heart of the Cotswolds. We're going to head back to the uh, village now and uh, continue our explore of the buildings and then we're going to have a look at the magnificent uh, church which has an interesting history of its own. The war memorial that you've just seen was designed by Sir Edward Lutyens, a prominent architect in the 20th century. A stunning memorial to uh, the fallen who died in both second wars here from the village in Miserden.
church here has Saxon origins or Saxon foundations, although very little remains from the Saxon days, sadly. It was substantially rebuilt in the 19th century, but it's still a very worthy piece of architecture. A slight moan here. The only building in Mizzidham which is privately owned is actually owned by BT. In fact it's the telephone exchange and what a shabby mess it looks. Uh, BT if you please come and sort your act out because you're letting the village down. The rest of the community is all owned by the community and it's a credit to the community so uh, please sort it out. Thank you. What impressed me most about touring around Mizzidham, I have been here before but it's, I haven't been for a little while, it's good to see that a thriving community in the heart of the Cotswolds can make an existence by working locally and not selling its soul and properties to second homeowners, uh, weekenders and uh, just bumping up prices where this community serves its local community well and that's so refreshing to see and it's just a shame that more villages and towns throughout the Cotswolds and indeed the wider West Country can't operate on a similar model. Anyway, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed our tour of Mizzidon. There'll be another video along very, very soon. So why not subscribe and hit the bell, then YouTube will notify you when my next video uploads. And once again, thank you for all the people that have supported me um, since my channel started back in February. It seems a while ago now. Uh, some quite a good uh, selection of videos there on different subjects. If you have looked back through my channel, if this is the first one you've seen, have a look back through the channel and you see all the videos I've done throughout. Uh, three counties I've covered in West Country and I've called I've also covered different places in South Gloucestershire, just started doing Wiltshire and I've touched on Worcestershire as well and there'll be more content on those areas coming soon. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comment about uh, Mizzidon and uh, the community here or if you visited it or you um, visited the Cotswolds and got any comments about that then please comment below. I will be covering more villages in the Cotswolds once I've completed the Cotswold Plain. I have some more time to do other bits and pieces in this area so there'll be more content on the Cotswold villages still to come here on West Country Wanderings. Anyway, till next time, take care, all the best, hope to see you all again soon. Cheers now, bye bye.